on to our last subject. Thank you so much for joining us again. We are now in our mother tongue subject. Okay. Mother tongue is usually done in Tagalog. Okay. Or whatever mother tongue, whatever is your mother tongue. Because our school is located in Silang, Cavite, that means that our mother tongue is Tagalog. So we will be learning about Tagalog today. I understand that some of you are not very fluent with Tagalog. Many of you speak English instead of Tagalog. So what Teacher Meg is going to do is I'm going to translate the Tagalog to English and the English to Tagalog so that you can learn Tagalog but still understand it all throughout the lesson. Okay? So... Um, our lesson in mother tongue today is talking about members of the family. In Tagalog, family is familia. Say, familia. Very good, familia. So today we will be talking about the members of the familia and what are their work or what are their roles in the familia. So let teacher Meg share my screen with you. Give me a second. Okay. Here we go. Almost there. There we go. So it says, you can't read it yet, but it says, Ang aking familia. Okay, why, is it, why isn't it not appearing? Okay. So say, Ang aking familia. Hold on. Let's fix it. Sorry. Teacher Meg needs to make sure that everybody can see. Okay, here we go. I wasn't sure a while ago. Okay, we are back. Say, ang aking familia. In English, that means my family. Okay. So there you have a very happy family. Again, what's the Tagalog of family? Familia. Very good. And what's the Tagalog of happy? Masaya. Say masaya. So this is a masayang familia. Say masayang familia. In English, happy family. Now, who are the members of the masayang familia? The first one we have is the father. In English, we call him father. In Tagalog, he is usually called tatay. Say, tatay. Okay, your tatay has many different things or roles to do in the familia. One of the things that your tatay does is to fix things that are broken. Okay, tatay fixes things that are broken or he builds things also that's the work of tatay tatay also helps us with our assignments right because tatay is smart nana can also do it but for this one we are using tatay to help us with our assignments tatay also goes to work okay not always this picture shows tatay going to work in the office but not all the time tatay goes to the office. Many tatays have different kinds of jobs and all of those jobs are good because tatay works hard. Very good. Of course, tatay loves to play with his children. Okay, that's the work of tatay. Now we go to the next member of the family. Who is this? Okay, in English, we call her mother or mommy. But in Tagalog, we say nanay. Say nanay. Okay. The work of nanay is very important also. Nanay makes sure that the house is clean. You want to live in a dirty house. Nanay makes sure that the house is clean. Nanai also takes care of the children, especially when we are sick. When the children are sick, we want Nanai to take care of us. Nanai also cooks yummy food. Teacher Meg, 
loves to eat. So I'm really thankful for my nanay who cooks delicious food for me. Nanai also needs to go grocery shopping or to the market to buy food for the whole family. And nanai, some nanais also go to work. But maybe not in the office, maybe they have a different job, but nanais also can go to work. Not only the tatai can go to work, but also the nanai can go to work. Okay, next we have brother in tagalog we call it kuya say it kuya okay kuya is a boy the boy in the family the boy the child who is a boy we call him kuya especially if he is older than us what is the work of kuya the most important work of kuya is to help tatay in his work if tatay needs to wash the car Kuya is there to help. If Tatay needs to plant things in the garden, Kuya is there to help. If Tatay needs to carry heavy boxes, Kuya is there to help. That's the work of Kuya. So if you're a Kuya, remember that your job is to help Tatay. Okay. Next, we have sister. In English, we call her sister. In Tagalog, we say, who can guess? Ate. Very good. Ate. Say it. Ate. Very good. The ate is a girl. The child of the family who is a girl. We call her ate. And what is the work of ate? Just like kuya, the work of ate is to help nanai. When nanai needs help washing the dishes or washing the clothes or cooking or cleaning, then it is the job of ate to help nana. Okay, if you're an ate, remember that, help nana at home. The last member of the family is the baby, right? What's the Tagalog of baby? Usually, we call them, as members of the family, we call them bunso. Say it, bunso. The bunso can be a boy and can be a girl. That's why I put two pictures there. It can be you have a bunso baby boy or you have a bunso baby girl. What is the work of the bunso? Can the bunso help daddy? Can the bunso help tatay? Can the bunso help nanay? Not yet because they are still very small. The work of the bunso is to make the family Happy! Look at that family! They are masaya. Sila ay isang masayang pamilya. They are a happy family, right? Okay, children, it is so important that the pamilya loves each other. The nanay, the tatay, the kuya, the ate, and the bunso all need to work together to have a happy family that loves each other. We don't want a family that will be fighting and hurting each other and crying and being sad all the time. We don't want a sad familia. We want a masayang familia because Jesus created our familia to be happy. Okay, so... Today for your activity, you are going to use this maze. Help the familia to get to their house. Okay, if you need mommy and daddy's help, ask for their help. The familia needs to get to their house. And on the other side, you are going to draw the members of the familia. Okay, draw it as beautifully as you can. You know what, teacher Meg doesn't need a beautiful drawing. Teacher Meg only wants you to do your best or try your best and that will make it beautiful for me. So you need to draw your tatay. You need to draw your nanay. You need to draw your ate. You need to draw your kuya. And you need to draw your bunso. If you don't have, maybe you don't have a kuya or you don't have an ate or you don't have a bunso, then you can just choose the members of the familia that you have. Don't forget, love each member of your 
familia.